story of courage. A Chinese legend about a fish. Listen carefully, for the journey is important. A blue river flowed deep and wide. It met the golden river that flowed from the sky at one point. And at this point where the two met, the blue river and the golden river, there was a mighty bridge. It was said that any creature that was able to cross that bridge to the other side could become whatever they desired. The little koi fish wanted to go there to cross that bridge and see what he could become on the other side. Every day he would tell his parents, the black and red koi fish, let me go, let me swim, let me go to that bridge. No matter what anyone says, that is what I desire. They worried for him. It's too dangerous. No fish has ever done this journey. And the ones who came back have told us that it's just impossible. But I truly, truly want to go and see what I become on the other side of that bridge. With a heavy heart, the red and black koi waved their fins goodbye. The little koi set off to meet his destiny. He knew the waters flowed down and he had to swim up. The way was very treacherous, very difficult. But he flapped his fins as fast as he could, faster and faster and faster and faster and made such good progress towards that bridge. The gods in the sky watched the little koi making his way upstream. They decided to send a little test in the form of a monster with its mouth wide open right in the path of the koi fish and it snapped shut. The koi was caught inside the mouth of the monster swimming here and there. It was, it was. Just then it remembered what his father would say. Look, look, there is always a way. And so, hearing the voice of his father in his ears, the little koi looked and saw a tiny hole in the skin of the monster, just enough for it to squeeze through. And out went the koi, out of that monster's skin and out into this river again. Once again, it flapped its fins and swam as fast as it could, faster and faster and faster and faster. The gods decided to send one more test, a wind. It churned up the water. It made it difficult for the koi to swim in such muddy, murky water. Then it remembered his mother's words. Stay calm, it shall pass. And so it did. The koi rested at the bottom of the river to stay calm. The water cleared up and once again it rose up and flapped its fins faster and faster and faster and finally reached that bridge. Now all it had to do was jump jump it did <sighs> took the water in through its gills and jumped but it did not cross it fell back into the water and again it jumped then it fell back again 
it jumped and fell back. By the time it tried for the fifth time, the koi was exhausted. His own voice was telling him, one more time, just try. And then with one last effort, the koi put in all his effort to jump. And across it went, flying across the bridge to the other side and fell exhausted into the water. When its eyes opened, it saw it had long fins and a long tail. It had become a dragonfish. It jumped up and down in joy. And as it jumped, it could see his mother and father looking at him and how he had become the dragon fish. The little koi had transformed into the dragon fish. For the story-based reflection, I want you to pick out one part of the story which stayed with you, an image from the story that stayed with, with you and draw it out. Once you've drawn it out, identify from which part of the story you have picked out this image, the beginning, middle or end, and also write out what this means to you for your own life journey. And finally, what are the ways in which the young fish showed courage?